Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the Forex Weekend Review for 30 April to close out the month at 4 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to start off with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see here, it was a pretty interesting start of the week. Sunday, uh, no no trade here. As you can see here, it was, uh, I can actually below the RL10. Uh, first indicator candle, second for a nice one, two, three punch out. Good trade. Aussie dollar, Swiss, Swiss franc for Sunday. Uh, no trade here. Initial trade here. One indicator away and was stopped out for a loss on this trade came back and we had a one two out for a nice comeback for Aussie dollar Swiss franc Aussie dollar Japanese yen had initial trade here for a nice one two three punch out however this was above I can actually buy it was above the RL10 and as you can see here that's another entry and if you continued with it you only stop out here so this would be a one two three four out here because the high connection bodies below the RL10 Game, uh, kind of a nice initial target was up here and hit it the Z3 on this day. But if you were out by the rules, which is you're out at the next high connection body below the RL10, you would have been out here. But if you stayed in, you would have hit the Z3 target on the high Kanashi over here. Overall, good, great trade for the Japanese pairs. As a dollar and a Zealand dollar, Sunday, uh, no trade here. Initial trade entry here, out uh, for loss here. One, two, and then using the RL270 as resistance and met your target at the 200 moving day average a quick out here so from here to here nice nice trade as you know us dollar was kind of a mess um we went ahead and had an initial trade here another trade here um now since it did close like a shooting star i would have at least bought my first order to break even um just as a or you could have had it here and you would have been out for a loss for both orders um i could actually buy is below the RL10 so here it's a negative candle so no further trade the rest of the week any dollar swiss franc and initial trade here for a two candle rule out here back in it for a nice one two three punch out so good way to end of the week for canadian dollar swiss franc and our japanese yen this was just phenomenal trading here we had a one two with the haganashi body above and three out um still continue to move up uh, but uh, we didn't follow the continuation up so it's frank japanese yen it's a good overall trade what we had here was first indication second indication and three out so one two three out um this was a great emerging dragon we had summer fall summer again your aussie dollar was a mess so start off here no trade initial trade here uh stopped off with a loss at the at least one indicator away and i put my stop here at the height or hump of the dragon came back and no further trade because uh the Hikanashi kept us out of a poor or weak so what happened here was a wedge a wedge formation and it's very destructive you know as far as chop and consolidation and this is just the big banks doing their stop on it euro canadian dollar uh excellent momentum uh first trade second trade uh for a loss here then beautiful one two three punch out now if you had the 98 day average as of the rl 90 as your target you would have hit it so beautiful one two three punch out after that euro british pound kind of stalled this is friday this is sunday no trade no trade no trade trade uh if you did do a short you would have been out for a small loss here below the haikanashi bodies below the haikanashi you could have gone for a low risk short uh, that would have been stopped out green haikanashi going in the other direction no trade but and then one trade here or a loss here so out of all of them this would have been a pretty much a scratch if the spread even allowed you to do and then this is your one loss for, for the week on euro british pound euro japanese yeah just like i said all the japanese pairs were just phenomenal this week beautiful one two three punch out um even if you use the r90 as a as a target or if you used the z3 on the haikanashi it would have been out here so great trade for the japanese pairs here in new zealand was also a mess so we had an initial trade here i did not go along here uh, on this one for a low risk entry trade um it was too close to the rl10 
uh, initial trade here uh, with one indicator away. That was your L30 for a loss. And I trade this. It trade this for a one, and then I saw kind of a, a wedge formation forming here. So you you could have gone in there for two, and you would have been out here at the RL10 for at least one indicator away. Um, if you had it all the way up here, you just would have been feeding the stop honey to the banks. You know what they were doing here. This uh, would have been a nice one two out if it started showing this wedge formation but um, it's up to you you know when you when you go ahead and try to see whether or not this would actually continue more downward price action moving your stop um, it's good to go ahead and at least move the stop at least to minimize the risk at the RL10 or at least one indicator away euro US dollar we had a one and then it was out immediately on this one uh, no trade here because look this this uh, was a green Heikinashi now if you did take this trade for a low risk entry trade you would have been out here I did not no trade here no trade the rest of the week so this was continuation from the previous week did not trade it no trade here no trade here initial trade here out for a loss here the low of the candle um, now if you did have a trade where you think it was going to go to the 200 again be careful trading around the 200 moving day average a lot of stop hunting goes on our moving averages British pound Canadian dollar this was Sunday and it was a doji and so this uh, if you did take this you're out immediately at the height take this one or a one two three punch out All right now if you look at this it's really close to the, the Z3 excursion over here and so this is a nice one two three punch out British pound Swiss franc just kind of hovered around with a weak short um, basically did not take this trade so no trade no trade and no trade the rest of the week so bottom line no trade for Swiss uh, British pound Swiss franc British pound Japanese yen again all the Japanese yen pairs were great so this uh, nice one two three punch out British pound is Zealand dollar uh, it's a continuation of previous week no trade here no trade no trade the rest of the week Zealand pairs were kind of choppy British pound US dollar same thing with the US dollars uh, pairs uh, very choppy uh, no trade here initial trade on the short side for a two candle rule I was out at the uh, pump of the dragon came back for a one and then a two with a short stop came back to stop me out. Dealing Canadian dollar. Uh, no trade here. Uh, nice one, two, three punch out. So uh, it's good stuff that if you continue to follow it and get it all the way down at least to the RL90, you could have done that with a nice stop. But this was a conservative move. Good, good, good trade. Ceiling Swiss franc. No trade here. Initial trade here. Uh, out for a loss on this one. Um, no trade here. Hackenosh body below the RL10. However, with this, this was an initial trade here for a one, two out on the ZN Dallas Swiss franc. On Friday so we caught this entire short to the downside and it, since it didn't have a, a major moving average up there and the RL10 was being used as resistance this was a fantastic trade. Zanla Japanese Yen again uh, have initial one two three punch out no further trade the rest of the week. Zealand US dollar again the US dollar pairs are all choppy. There's a one two and then out for loss here another trade here doji and whenever you got a doji up here you got this tweezer potential formation if it never gets above this high it's 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 gonna go in the other direction any it either goes the lower high it goes in the direction of what price action does so this is considered a tweezer instead of a doji sandwich it wouldn't uh, would have continued more to the upside so knowing your risk here at this high and at this low you can do at least a one-to-one -one on this to ensure your risk to reward so if it never does go back up you're only out for this this amount of risk. So I missed the RL10, came in, took me out. US dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, pretty much followed the Z3. So this was continuation of last week. Then we had this order. This was no trade because it's past the Z3. Another no trade uh, past the Z3. So this is Canadian dollar, incredible strength up against the dollar as the dollar weakens. So interesting on how this, the Canadian dollar was strengthening against all the currencies. US dollar, Swiss franc uh, kind of choppy here uh, had initial trade here for loss no trade here I can actually body was red initial trade here and it almost touched the 200 moving day average so if it didn't it shows significant price action to or liquidity zone right here at the 200 moving day average so this has been 
Just tell us this frame's been going down for a while. So it may have found support here. So this would have been a 1, 2, and then what you saw as an initial loss here, the stop at the RL10, or one indicator away from the 200. US dollar, Japanese yen, uh, we had no trade here. Initial trade here, and for a 1, 2, 3, then a 1, 2, all right? So what we had here is the Ikenashi body above the RL10, and what you could have done is a 1, 2, 3, and a 4 here. Uh, out here. So this would have been one, two, out for about break even on the second, nice gain on the first. Or you could have done a one, two, out for more than break even here, and then a one, two, out on Friday. Just looking at gold and silver, very choppy reverse wedge, and gold, same thing, kind of reverse wedge. Don't know the direction what it is going, but the Heikinashi has a very slow decline here, which means there could be more price action for gold and silver to the upside. Well, folks, that's all I have for the week in review for the Forex currencies. We're currently conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex intermediate course. If you're interested, click on the link below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everyone. Happy trading. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.